Hello, we are discussing about gate 1993 EC paper and this question is related to microprocess. The subtopic is memory mapping. This is 5 marks question came in 1993. A microprocessor has 5 address lines A0 to A4 and 8 data lines D0 to D7. An input device A, output device B, read only memory and random access memory or memory map put to the microprocessor as shown okay with the addresses as shown devices a and b have four addressable registers each and random access memory has 8 bytes read only memory has 16 bytes you are going to specify address lines to be connected to each device and memory and obtain minimum sum of product expression for the chip select function of each device as well as memory ok so first we will see about the address lines to be connected for each device and the microprocessor is having 5 address lines from A0 to A4 5 address lines is nothing but microprocessor can able to access 32 memory locations 32 memory locations in hexadecimal is nothing but from 0, 0 to 1F which are nothing but 32 memory locations and those memory locations are going to be connected to the devices given ok look at this diagram A is going to be a uh, input device for that one the memory mapping is nothing but starting address is 00 and ending address is 03 ok the addresses are specifying in hexadecimals and RAM starting address is 04 ending address is 0B ROM starting address is 0C ending address is 1B B register sorry B output device for this one starting address is 1C and ending address is 1F so based on this one so we are going to specify this ok how many number of address lines it requires in that way so we are going in this way so we will go with a table ok in that table first we will go with A register and next REAM since A is going to be having the starting address so that we have started with A ok next we are going with REAM and next we are going for the ROM read only memory and then we will go for the last one is nothing but B ok this is for B register next so first we will say about the size of memory size of memory and for this size of memory how many number of address lines are going to be required so address lines required address lines required and what is the range of address that is nothing but starting and ending address so here we are going for this one we are extending it ok and it is range of address range of address so range of address is nothing but we are moving in this way so this is starting and it is ending range ok so by that time we are going to fill this table that is nothing but that is answer for the first bit indicate the address lines to be connected to each device and memory so first we are considering the input device A input device A is going to be consisting of 4 registers and each register can store 8 bit of information because it has 8 data lines so 4 bytes we can see each register can store 1 byte of information so the uh, memory of A that is nothing but size of memory implies nothing but size of A ok size of the device instead of this one ok size of the device is nothing but 4 bytes 4 bytes if you want to locate at that time you require 4 address locations for 4 address locations you require 2 address lines 2 address lines it requires those 2 address lines is nothing but A0, A1 next the starting address is going to be it has given from the memory map A starting address is 000 that is nothing but this is with 5 bits you are representing 00, zero. hexadecimal representation is 00 zero and with 5 bits because it has 5 address lines so we have to represent in 5 bits so 0000, zero, zero, zero and it is 00011 zero, zero, one, one. ok for RAM RAM is nothing but consisting of 8 bits of 
memory so 8 bytes implies nothing but 8 memory locations that is it requires 3 address lines a1 a0 a0 a1 and a2 okay a0 a1 and a2 and the starting address for this one is nothing but 4 so 0 0 1 0 0 and b implies nothing but ending address so it is 1 0 1 1 next rom is consisting of 16 bytes so 16 address locations it requires okay so 16 address locations is nothing but number of address lines required is 4 and those number of address lines is nothing but from a0 to a3 we will use and a0 to a3 has to be connected to ram okay and the starting address for ram read only memory is 0 c 0 c implies nothing but 1100 0, 0, and ending address is 1b 1b implies nothing but 11011 1, 1. next b is output device that can also have four addressable registers to access four addressable registers okay to access four addressable registers each can store eight bits of information that is four bytes so to address those four locations we require two address lines so that implies nothing but a naught and a1 and the address range is going to be starting from 1c that is 11100 and it is 1f so this is what the final address so this is address mapping okay now the number of address lines required for a is 2 and a naught a1 has to be connected for a and for b also number of address lines are 2 so that a naught and a1 are going to be connected to a rom read only memory consisting of 16 bytes it requires 4 address lines so a naught to a3 should be connected for rom ram sorry rom for read random access memory it requires 8 bytes that implies nothing but it requires 3 address lines a naught a1 a2 are going to be connected to ram okay so these are going to be this is going to be treated as answer for this first bit number of address lines to be connected to each device as well as memory now we are going to specify the minimum sum of products expression for chip select remember that one here it is range of address we are specifying okay with respect to a4 a3 a2 a1 a0 because five address lines okay so chip select is nothing but that has to select a particular device as well as memory for the given range so whenever the address bus is in the range of 0 0 to 0 3 then a has to be selected so a has to be selected is nothing but you must make an active high chip select signal okay the chip select has to be active only for a when the address range is within the 0 0 to 0 3 so that implies nothing but chip select for a is going to be function of address lines if you are going for the chip select ram ram is going to be consisting of address range 0 4 to 0 b if the memo uh, if the address range that is if the address lines contents are going to be in between 0 4 to 0 b by that time only ram should be selected random access memory that is again the chip select for that ram has to be active and all others must be deactive so that implies nothing but chip select okay the meaning is nothing but here chip select chip select for a ram rom and b is going to be function of a4 a3 a2 a1 a0 okay chip select is function of these things now we are going to get the minimized expression for this chip select okay <coughs> so this is what till now we have seen so this is a table and we have finalized that one chip select for a ram rom and b is going to be function of a4 a3 a2 a1 a0 so from this table we can say that one okay chip select for a chip select chip select for a is that is function of for which it is going to be having logic 1 so chip select for a is going to be logic 1 is having logic 1 only for min terms 0 0 to 0 3 that implies nothing but even though it is function of a4 a3 a2 a1 a0 okay that is having 32 unique 
uh, address locations out of that one chip select for a has to be high only for the min terms 0 only for the min terms 0 1 2 3 that's all okay similarly chip select for chip select for r a m has to be having min terms from okay 0 4 to 0 b 0 4 to 0 b is nothing but 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 implies nothing but a okay so we can go for the 10 and b is nothing but 11 so 4 to 11 are going to be min terms that has to be considered for the ram only during that size the chip select for ram has to be active because ram is selected only for that duration range okay next similarly we can write chip select for rom is nothing but okay so it is starting from 0c 0c is nothing but 12 12 to 1b 1b implies nothing but b is 11 1 that is nothing but 12 to 27 it will be taking 12 to 27 so the min terms from 12 to 27 has to be considered for ram that is total of 16 bytes okay so next 16 memory locations next chip select for b chip select for b implies nothing but sigma m of okay sigma m of uh, 28 29 30 31 that's all the entire memory address range is going to be taken and chip select for a ram ram as well as b all are going to be written okay so by using uh, it is function of a4 to a0 that is nothing but five addressable register uh, five address lines that is nothing but chip select is function of five variable k map but out of that one whether we have to consider five variable k map for all these functions or not that we have to check okay here even though it is five variable k map if you are looking at for the chip select for a it is consisting of only 0 1 2 3 it is consisting of only 0 1 2 3 we can consider the k map okay k map with a4 is equal to 0 and four variable k map can be used four variable k map can be used because a4 the value of a4 is going to be always 0 whether it is 0 1 2 3 so a4 we will assume it as 0 itself we are going with four, var four variable k map for the other things a3 to a0 next for this one 4 is going to be the least memory location and 11 is nothing but highest memory location 11 can be represented as 0 1 0 1 as you are looking at this point ok 0 1 0 1 memory 0 1 0 1 1 is nothing but 11 so by this time also a4 the value of a4 is going to be 0 so again you can go for the 4 variable k map only 4 variable k map four variable k map only you are using but by that time also you are assuming that one a4 is 0 next for rom for rom that is read only memory if you are looking at the starting point so for the starting address a4 is 0 and for the ending address a4 is equal to 1 so here you must consider a4 is changing from 0 to 1 that implies nothing but now we have to consider five variable k map five variable five variable k map for this one five variable k map because a4 is changing from 0 to 1 if a4 is constant at that time you no need to consider the five variable you can consider only four variable similarly for b if you are looking at at that time for b this is a4 is 1 a4 is 1 for starting as well as ending so here we are going with four variable k map again four variable k map but the thing is nothing but here a4 is going to be one that is the only difference so now we will consider this one okay first we are going with this one and chip select for a we will see chip select for a is nothing but that will be consisting of 0 1 2 3 so we are going for the address lines like this this is a3 a2 and it is a1 a naught okay and we are assuming for this one a4 is equal to 0 if whenever a4 is equal to 0 the other four address lines are going to be forming the four variable k map in that one 0 1 2 3 has to be 1 0 1 2 
3 has to be 1 so that you can combine this one okay whenever you are combining these things what you are going to get for the chip select for a chip select of a is nothing but okay it is simply a uh, since a4 is equal to 0 first we will write it as a4 bar multiplying with a3 a2 0 0 you will get that is nothing but a3 bar a2 bar you will get this is what the chip select for a now we will let the chip select for um, RAM RAM if you want to write at the time we will use the same K map but we will remove this one okay so by that time also what we are going with is nothing but A4 is equal to 0 only okay so A4 is equal to 0 <coughs> A4 is equal to 0 for RAM also and uh, the min terms must be considered is nothing but 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 4 to 11 we have to consider. So 4 to 11 this is 4 ok 5, 6, 7, 8 sorry this is 12 4, 5, 6, 7, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 is nothing but this one. 8 9 10 11 ok so in this case you cannot combine these four and these four so that implies nothing but you must consider separately these four are separate and these four are going to be separate so by that time you can get the equation for this one ok cs of b C, uh, sorry cs of r a m can be chip select for r a m can be written as for this one first product term you will get this as p1 assume that one product term 1 is nothing but a4 bar you have to consider since you are going with a4 is equal to 0 multiplied by 0 1 0 1 implies nothing but a3 bar a2 plus one more product term you are getting for this combination that is p2 so p2 value is nothing but again it is a4 bar ok next this is a3 a2 as 1 0 that is nothing but a3 a2 bar this is what chip select for RAM next we will go for the chip select for B ok chip select for B we will write chip select for B we will write chip select for B implies nothing but ok we must consider chip select for B is we are going to consider A4 is equal to 1 so that we will remove this 0 and ok so a4 is equal to 1 now for chip select for b a4 is equal to 1 and we have to consider whenever it is 1 at that time this will become ok whenever it is 1 this will become 32 sorry this will become 16 and it will become 17 18 19 like this you will get so what you are going to get is 28 29 30 31 this will become 28 this is 28 and it is 29 this will become 30 and it will become 31 for a4 is equal to 1 these are the cell numbers so we are going to consider logic ones this is 28 29 30 31 so combine these things ok these four can be combined and you are going to get only one expression that is what a4 into because a4 is equal to 1 so that you must write it as a4 into a3 a2 a3 a2 that's all ok this is chip select for b so chip select for a you have written chip select for um, ram also you have written chip select for b also you have written so what is the leftover is nothing but chip select for rom that should be consisting of 12 to 27 um, 12 to 27 min terms so we have to use a 5 variable k map this is a 5 variable k map and we are going to cover chip select chip select for rom which will be consisting of min terms of ok min term 12 to 27 12 to 27 we are going with so here first one is the cell numbers are indicated 0 1 2 3 so the here this is a4 is equal to 0 and it is a4 is equal to 1 and all others are nothing but ok so 
this is four variable came up is nothing but a3 a2 a1 a0 again it is a3 a2 a1 a0 we are not writing that one okay so the cell numbers of interest is nothing but 12 to 27 so 12 is nothing but starting point indicate the ones in this one 12 13 14 15 next 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 so these are the ones should be indicated for 12 to 27 in case of chip select of ram so by that time if you are going to specify these two can be combined these two can be combined so you are going to be getting one expression and again these two can be combined this one and this one can be combined and you are going to be getting one more expression and this you cannot combine so you must go for a single expression so this is going to be giving this is p1 and it is p2 this is p3 okay so you must think it is 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 okay here also 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 and 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 we have to write so p1 can be written as p1 is going with a4 is equal to 1 so you must write a4 into okay whatever the things is nothing but 0 0 0 0 0 is nothing but this is we are going in this way this side we are going for the a3 a2 so p1 you are going to be getting it as a4 and 0 you are getting as common term that is nothing but a4 a3 bar and p2 is equal to okay p2 is again a4 into what is the common term for this one this is 0 0 and it is 1 0 so this 0 that is nothing but a4 a sorry sorry this is a4 hmm so it is common term for this one these two lines these two lines are common is nothing but 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 is nothing but here it is 0 so that is a2 bar a4 a2 bar you will get okay a4 a2 bar you will get <coughs> a4 a2 bar and next here p3 is equal to p3 can be written as a4 bar a4 bar and here it is a3 a2 you can get so these are the chip select signals so chip select of rom is equal to a4 a2 bar plus a4 a3 bar plus a4 bar a3 a2 so this is what chip select for ram and chip select for ram is equal to okay chip select for ram is a4 bar a4 bar a3 bar a2 plus a4 bar a3 a2 bar and chip select for a is chip select for a is a4 bar a3 bar a2 bar and chip select for b is a4 a3 a2 so you can assume that one everything is going to be having a chip select okay so assume that one this is going to be having a chip select this is also having a chip select and this also having a chip select this also having a chip select so if you want to draw the diagram you can draw a logic level expression okay logic gate level expression uh, gate level diagram you can draw and the output of that one should be connected to the corresponding chip select of those things so these are the minimum SOP minimized SOP expressions for the chip select of input and output devices as well as memory thank you